Hey guys, and welcome to this third tutorial on the fan control. Today we're going to take a look at a new feature I just added to the software, which is called the Activision Percent. And then we're going to use that new feature and try to create the perfect or near perfect uh, GPU fan curve. So first off, we're going to take a look at the new feature. So Activision Percent, basically what that does is uh, when you apply a fan curve to your control, uh, it will ignore the fan curve until uh, it reaches uh, a said percent. Like in this case, it says 12%. So when it's when the fan curve is below, uh, in this case, 12%, uh, the, the, the control is going to be set to zero. And then when it goes over 12%, it will follow the curve normally. So how do you uh, find your activation percent? Uh, normally, you will just create a flat curve and apply it and then try to find the point where uh, the fan starts spinning. But I created, I created a little utility to uh, do that more easily. Uh, in order for it to work, you must first um, match your controls with your speed sensors so that you have an RPM on your uh, control cards. Um, so I showed that in my first video, actually, so you can go check that out. Um, once you've done that, we're going to hide those cards. Uh, you can use the new feature, Detect Fan Activation Automatically. So you can do that for all your fans or you can do it for a single fan. So we're going to do it for all your fans because it's actually the same time. So if we click on that, it says only the controls with a match fan speed sensor will be tested, which is normal. And then uh, in parallel, each fan is going to be stopped and then will slowly increase in percentage uh, to try and find a threshold. So as you can see, my CPU push fan uh, never stopped. That's because it's a CPU header, so uh, the motherboard prevents it from stopping. And then slowly, you're going to see uh, each fan is going to uh, go onto the top section of the dialog once it's found a, uh, the threshold where the RPM starts to show up. So as you can see, we found all my GPU fan, all of my front fan, and the others should follow quickly. So in my case, the back fan is a Noctua fan, which it's, it's a 140 millimeter, so uh, it's quite heavy, so it needs a lot of voltage to uh, start spinning. It should be around 50%. There we go. So we found all of our activation, and the uh, dialog applied each uh, activation percent to each card automatically, right? So uh, that's that. So now we can take a look at, uh, we're gonna use that new feature in our GPU fan curve. So what do we want for our GPU fan, fan curve? Uh, we want it to be responsive because it is uh, directly responsible for cooling uh, our GPU. Uh, we want to take advantage of the zero RPM feature uh, of our GPU if it's a modern GPU. Most modern GPU have a um, zero RPM feature, so we're going to use that. We also want to only ramp up on a sustained load, and in this is pretty much specific to uh, GPU. Uh, we want to find the noise irritab irritability uh, threshold. Uh, most GPU on full load sounds like uh, jet engines, and we don't want that. So we're going to try to create a fan curve that uh, satisfy all those features. So how are we going to do that? So we're going to create a new linear fan curve. We're going to call it GPU. Right, uh, and so we found that our GPU only starts around uh, twelve percent. So this is gonna be our uh, minimum fan speed for our curve because uh, on idle we want our GPU fan to stop. So we're gonna set twelve percent. Uh, we're gonna set our uh, temperature source right now. Actually, that's the first thing I should have done. And I should put that drop down at the top of the card since it's the first thing you should do. But anyway, so GPU core. And now for the maximum fan speed. As I said, uh, we want to find uh, 
how annoying our fan is. So I'm going to apply a 100%. And holy shit, I got a jet engine next to me. So if, sorry for the curse word. Um, so that's too much. So let's see. We're going to go 65. Yeah, 65 is pretty good. You can't hear it, but uh, in my case, it seems pretty good. So 65 is going to be our max. And as far as temperature, we're going to keep uh, the default. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to keep the, the the default temperature at which uh, the driver stops the uh, fan. So and that was uh, 45 degrees. So we're going to keep that. And in my case, it's overclocked up until. Uh, my overclock is set, so it starts to drop around. Uh, it, it drops uh, megahertz around uh, 75 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna go max speed uh, some degrees below that. So it's gonna be 65. Uh, we said we want a responsive curve, so we're gonna keep the two degree uh, Celsius range, and we're gonna have a response time of three seconds. Uh, we don't want our uh, GPU to GPU fan to ramp up if there's a sudden spike in a temperature. So three seconds should cover that, and we're gonna apply it. There we go. So as you can see, my GPU should uh, stop. So right now it's at zero percent, even though uh, the minimum fan speed is twelve. That's because our activation percent is twelve. Uh, if it was, uh, let's say, 10, uh, yep. if it was uh, below that, uh, since 12% is over 10, now it's 12%. But if you go back to 12, it should stop. Here we go. So how does that work in real life? So we're going to start a uh, benchmark. Here we go. All right. So let's see our temperature. Um, we're going to bring fan control on top. Here we go. So our GPU is slowly creeping up in temperature. Right, it's at 50, 52. And as you can see, our uh, GPU fan started to run, right? So that works. And now if we exit out of that, uh, we should see our temperature starts to uh, come back down. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to take quite a while. Uh, right. Or anyway, I can or I can just increase the temperature should give the same effect if I put 50 degrees minimum we should see our fan completely stop so, so yeah so our GPU curve works so we achieve these uh, criteria quite well it's responsive uh, it takes advantage of the zero RPM with uh, my new feature I just added to the software it ramps up on sustained load and it doesn't annoy uh annoy me when it's on max load so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you got questions comments or queries you can leave a comment below and i'll see you next time goodbye